Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot Convention with another installment of Building the Team. So our last build was 300 points modern. Um, only actually got to run the, uh, the mission points team. It uh, it, it did okay. Um, map choice definitely going getting to pick the map definitely helps, and picking the right map is especially important. But uh, anyway, so for this upcoming uh, get build. We're, uh, we, we just, uh, my group decided to go with something, uh, kind of, you know, as a means of making a nod to the recently released Thor Love and Thunder, which I reviewed, uh, earlier, a few days ago. Um, you should check out the review if you haven't. Um, but yeah, uh, so, 500 points. Everyone on the team must have either the Asgardian or Deity keywords. So we've got ourselves an Asgardian team and a Deity team. So we'll start off with the Asgardian team. Kicking things off, we've got Darcy Lewis, Darcy here comes in at 25 points, has the Shield team ability as well as the Asgardian, Shield, Celebrity, and Scientist keywords. You may be wondering why the Asgardian and Celebrity keywords. So, uh, Asgardian, it's, she's from the Thor movies initially, and was some of an ally, and was an ally of sorts of Thor in 1 and 2, so, you know, that's enough to get you the, get you the keyword. As for uh, Celebrity, uh, that was something that the Disney Plus set did for every character from uh, WandaVision, for most of the characters from WandaVision, at least those who appeared in the in, in the show within the show, basically, which Darcy does later in the se in this for a season, or only season, I would imagine. Anyway, looking at her dial, we've got two clicks of stealth on speed, on her first and last clicks on damage, we've got a special power... Um, It's Dr. Darcy Lewis, thank you very much, which grants Outwit and Perplex. In, the, in between those two clicks of uh, the special power, you have a click of Outwit and a click of Perplex. Fairly straightforward, good, uh, a solid uh, support piece. Moving on, we've got Angela. Angela here comes in at 50 points. She has the Guardian team ability, as well as the Asgardian, Guardians of the Galaxy, Warrior, De er, er, Assassin, Deity, and Warrior keywords. Looking at her dial, we get three clicks of charge, followed by three clicks of sidestep on speed, six clicks, or for basically her whole dial, of uh, Blaze Claws Fangs, three clicks of invulnerability, followed by three clicks of combat reflexes on defense and on damage. A, no, again, a full dot run of uh, exploit weakness. Next up, we've got Sith. Sith comes in at 55 points. It has the Asgardian, Avengers, Deity, and Warrior keywords. We also have a Rally ability, which keys off of... Uh, is that friendly? Yeah, friendly attack rolls that include a 1. Her Rally trait, her rally ability gives her, gives her Flurry. And free, you may remove one of Lady Sif's Rally dice to make a close attack. So you could theoretically... Uh, Score quite a few attacks with her. Looking at her dial, we get a click of charge followed by two clicks of sidestep, and then a click of charge followed by two clicks of sidestep. Those charge clicks also have uh, Blaze Claws Fangs on them. Then on uh, defense, we get a click of. Uh, for the first, for first four clicks, we alternate between invulnerability and toughness. Then we get a click of combat reflexes and back in invulnerability at the end. On damage, we open up with a click of leadership, two clicks of co close combat expert, 
Then we get a click, another click of leadership and two clicks of exploit weakness. Okay. Either way, she can she's gonna she can potentially do some damage if you can let her get in the fight. Next up, we've got Scourge. Scourge here comes in at 60 points and has the Guardian's team ability. As well as the as Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Warrior keywords. Looking at his dial, we get three clicks on speed of special power, dis and order, which grants charge and running shot, followed by three clicks of sidestep. On attack, we get three clicks of uh, at the top of the dial, a penetrating psychic blast. Defense, we open up with three clicks of toughness, followed by three clicks of combat reflexes. Damage, three clicks of exploit weakness, followed by three clicks of close combat expert. Okay, alright. You're gonna be, uh, he should be able to dish out some, a decent amount of damage. Next up, we've got Enchantress. Amora here comes in at 75 points. It has the uh, Masters of Evil and Mystic team abilities, as well as the Asgardian Masters of Evil and Mystical keywords. We also have a trait You Will Love Me, which grants mind control. When the Enchantress uses it, after resolutions, give each hit target an action token. If, if they don't have, or an allure token if they don't have one already. When an opposing character with an allure token attacks the Enchantress, modify their, their that atta the atta or attacking damage by minus one. Okay. Looking at her dial, we get three clicks of facing teleport, followed by three clicks of sidestep. Three clicks of telekinesis, followed by three clicks of poison. Three clicks of uh, initial deflection, followed by three clicks of mastermind. Three clicks of probability control, followed by three clicks of outwit. Okay, all right. Next up, we've got Donald Blake. Don Donald here comes in at uh, 90 points, has the cosmic energy team ability as well as the Asgardian, Cosmic, and Mystical Keywords. We also have a, we also have a trait, No More Fours. When Donald Blake makes a close attack, hit targets can't use defense powers, okay? Then looking at his dial, we get four clicks of charge, followed by three clicks of flurry, four clicks of quake, followed by three clicks of blaze claws fangs, four clicks of impervious, followed by three clicks of super senses. Not too shabby. And finally, we've got Thor. I guess one, I guess I love this sculpt. I really do. It's it is kind of bare bones, no lighting effects, but still it looks awesome. Just absolutely awesome. So Thor here comes in at 125 points, has the Avengers team ability as well as the as Guardian Avengers Deity and Warrior keywords. Improved targeting ignores characters, and we have a trait. Not the God of Hammers. When Thor hits with a range attack after resolutions, he may use Energy Explosion as free, but must target a hit character. Okay. Looking at his dial, we get three clicks of running shot, followed by three clicks of sidestep. A full dial of uh, four clicks of sidestep, not three, four. A full dial, seven clicks of penetrating psychic blast. Three clicks of impervious, followed by two clicks of invulnerability and two clicks of regeneration. Then on damage, we get three clicks of leadership, followed by three clicks of uh, enhancement. Okay, all right. We've also got a couple pieces of equipment on the team in the build. Um, to give to Thor, basically make him a a more, not so much store, a higher end store brand version of uh, Chase Thor from Captain America and the Avengers. We've got the, the time gem. Costs 10 points, um, modifies range by plus one, and gives the equipped cha character probability control. When the character attacks it on an attack roll, if the attack roll is 10 or higher, opposing characters can't use effects to reroll attacks this turn. Okay. Then, for uh, Donald Blake, we've got, since it worked so well the first, the last time, we've got the Blood Axe. Comes in at 10 points. Equipped creature or equipped figure gets uh, battle fury, exploit weakness, and steel energy, which that came in handy uh, the last time I used it. So yeah. Anyway, moving on to our deity team, 
Starting off, we've got Strife. Strife here comes in at 25 points. It has the Mystic Team ability, as well as the Deity and Mystical Keywords and a trait. I come in peace. If Strife is 25 points, she is KO'd when she when her, her dial clicks past the red KO line. Protected Pulse Wave. Okay. So we're just running her 25 points. So just we're about the first her first two clicks. We've got a couple. We got Stealth on Speed, Super Senses on Defense, and a special on uh, Damage with special power. What did you expect? They they attacked me first. Standard friendly characters within four squares have the Mystics team ability. Okay. Next up, we've got Circe. Circe here comes in at 50 points. She has the Injustice League and Mystics team abilities. <laughs> As well as the Injustice League, Deity, Mystical, and Ruler keywords. Is that right? Yes. Looking at her dial, on speed, we, we've got uh, three clicks of the special power Subdue Your Apprentices, which grants mind control and stealth, followed by two clicks of regular mind control. On attack, we open up with three clicks of uh, telekinesis. On damage, defense, we have, all we got is two back end clicks of regeneration. Then on damage, we get three clicks of probability control, followed by two clicks of outwit. Okay. Next, we've got... Party Thor. Party Thor comes in at 50 points. It has the Asgardian, Avenger, Celebrity, and Deity keywords. We also have a trait. Prepare yourself for the par party prince. Huzzah! Willpower, but succeeds on a 4 through 6. When Party Thor uses it and succeeds, after resolutions, you may heal him one click. Okay. That can be quite useful. Looking at his dial, we get three clicks of running shot, followed by three clicks of charge. On attack, we open up with three clicks of special power. You need a timeout because you're a party pooper. Pulse Wave. When Party Thor uses it, after resolutions, you may give it all hit characters an action token. Okay. This thing gives way to three clicks of Quake. Then on uh, defense, we get three clicks of Invincible, followed by three clicks of Invulnerability. Damage, we have three clicks of Shape Change, followed by three clicks of Close Combat Expert. Okay. All right. Next up, we've got Jason. Jason here comes in at 75 points. He has the Wonder Woman Ally team ability as well as the Cosmic Energy team ability. He also has the Amazon Deity and Warrior keywords as well as a trait. Um, good, luck, good luck hitting the wind, which we get some super senses. Looking at his dial. We get two clicks of running shot, followed by four clicks of sidestep, a full run of penetrating psychic blast, and a full run of invulnerability. Okay, alright. And that traded super senses, which basically means super senses on a four through six, with, thanks to the one on team ability. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's gonna potentially, excuse me, he's gonna be a, a pain. Next up, we've got Apollo. Apollo comes in at 100 points, has the Cosmic Energy Team ability, as well as, as the Deity and Ruler keywords, and improved targeting ignores elevated terrain and hindering terrain. Okay. Looking at his dial, we get four clicks of sidestep, followed by four clicks of stealth, two clicks at the top and bottom of the, at the front and back of the dial of Penetrance Psychic Blast, with four clicks of Blaze Claws Fangs in, the, in between, four clicks of Invulnerability, followed by four clicks of uh, Regeneration, four clicks of probability, probability control, followed by four clicks of outwit. Okay. 
Next up, we've got the Prince of Power himself, Hercules. Hercules comes in at 100 points. He has the Guardian Team ability, as well as the Avengers, Champions, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Heroes for Hire, Deity and Warrior keywords, and Improved Movement ignores and destroys blocking terrain. Looking at Herc's dial, we've got three clicks of charge, followed by three clicks of plasticity, then three clicks of flurry. On attack, we've got three clicks at the back end of uh, steel energy. On defense, we open up with three clicks of, of impervious, then three clicks of invulnerability, followed by three clicks of super senses. Finally, on damage, we have six clicks of uh, close combat expert. Okay, all right. And the last figure for the God Squad is Zeus, the old horn dog himself. Zeus comes in at uh, 175 points, has the Mystics and Cosmic Energy team abilities, as well as the Deity, Mystical, and Ruler keywords, and improved targeting ignores hindering terrain. We also, we also have a trait. It's uh, because of him being an having the ally roll tag, and no one else on the team has uh, captain or sidekick, so no real point going into it. Um, he gives friendly friendly uh, captains and sidekicks get uh, attack plus one when attacking one or more characters with the deity keyword. Then looking at Zeus's dial, we've got a full run of uh, running shot, an almost full run of the special attack power Shock and Awe, which has Penetrate and Psychic Blast, when Zeus uses it, each hit character uh, halves their speed value until your next turn. Okay. Then on uh, defense, we get two clicks of Impervious, a click of in Invulnerability, followed by a special defense power. You dare to strike me? Stop. Impervious. Each time this click is revealed, after resolutions, knock back each opposing character within within range two squares. He's got a range of seven, so yeah. It's not range and line of fire, just range. After the stop click, we get another click of impervious, two more clicks of, invin of invulnerability, and one more stop click. Then on damage, we've got what is that? Five clicks of uh, yeah, five clicks of probability control. Okay, all right. And we've also got some equipment for this team. We're coming up a little bit short, so... First off, we've got... The Power Gem, which will likely be going on Zeus. Ra damage plus one, range combat expert, close combat expert. Figure hits if the attack rolls a 10 or higher. After resolutions, each deal a hit target one penetrating damage. Then we've also got All Black, the Necro Sword, which will likely be going on Hercules. Um, giant Reach 2, when this character makes a close attack, opposing characters can't use Shape Change or Super Senses and, and can't reduce damage below 1. Okay, that'll work out nicely with Herc. But uh, anyway, let me know what you think of these uh, teams uh, in, the com in the comments below. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the, des the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.